Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 21st Node.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to talk about the package.json file. Okay then gang, so in the last tutorial I talked about the Node package manager and how we can use it to install packages into our application. Now, you could install one package, you could install 10 packages, but either way it's always a good idea to keep track of which packages you're installing and which packages your application depends on, the dependencies of your application. Now, in Node.js we can do that. We can use a package.json file to keep track of all of those packages that we depend on. So we can either create this manually ourselves or we can use a command in Node.js to do it for us. So I'm going to do the second option because I'm super lazy. So I'll say npm and then init. And that is the command we need to write. So once we run this, it's going to ask us a series of questions about our project. So we just need to go through these and answer them. So it's asking for a name first of all. I'm going to keep it at the default one it suggested, Node.js playlist. Version one, that's fine. Description, um, a little test app. Um, entry point app JS. This is going to be the start point of our application. That's fine. Uh, test command. We don't have one of those. Git repository. No. Uh, keywords. Uh, fun ninjas. Yeah, whatever. And then the author is me. So the license is fine as it is as well for me. Is this okay? You betcha. Enter. And then now that is going to head and created a package.json file for our application. And in here is some information that we entered about this application. Now, one of the cool things about this package.json file is that it can keep track of our dependencies, the packages that we need to run this application. Okay, so say for example, we install some packages and our application depends on those. Now, if we pass on our application's code to another developer, we don't normally pass on the packages as well, just our core application code that we have written. So for that developer to run our application, they're going to have to install the same packages that we did, that our application depends on. So how do they know which packages are going to be installed? Well, they're going to be in this file. But how do we add them to this file? How does it keep track of it? Well, when we install a package in Node.js using the Node Package Manager, we can pass through a save flag. And that's going to save that package as a dependency right here. So let's install Express again. So we'll say npm install express and then I'm going to say hyphen save to say look this is a dependency. We're going to depend on this package in this application so I want you to save it to this JSON file. So if we run this now, first of all it's going to go ahead and install express as normal and then when it's installed express it's going to update this page right here to say our dependencies. So just give it two ticks. Okay, cool. So now this has installed and you'll see down here, dependencies, express, and then this is the version number. Okay. So just to demonstrate something pretty cool, I'm going to uninstall express. So I'll say npm uninstall express. And then this is just going to remove all of those files. Okay, cool. So now express is uninstalled. And you'll notice that this dependencies thing is still here. It's still listing Express as a dependency, even though this node modules folder is empty. It's not installed anymore. And the reason it does that is because even though we don't have Express installed, we've listed it as a dependency. It's telling us we need to install this basically for our application to work. If we want to unlist it as a dependency, we can just delete this. But a cool thing about this package.json file is, say we had about six dependencies listed right here, and then we pass our code on to another developer. If they want to install all of these packages, our dependencies, they don't need to do them all manually. What they can do is just one command, uh, command and that is npm install. And if we run this, Node is going to look for this package.json file. It's going to find the dependencies, and every dependency there is going to install into this version that they're running. So they can install all of those packages in one file swoop. And that's really cool. Okay, so now that's pretty much installed again. There we go. Um, we could use Express in this application again. So that is the package.json uh, file. And that is 
how we use it to keep track of our packages that we use. Any questions, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.